Hello, my name is Leila Bibiric, and I am a sophomore undergraduate researcher in the Prel Lab. Today, I will be presenting on the detergent dependence of cytolysin A oligomers, which we determine using native mass spectrometry. Membrane proteins are incredibly important in human health, and for those reasons, they are important to study. One class of membrane proteins are the pore-forming toxins, which are produced as water-soluble monomers but transition into transmembrane oligomeric pore complexes in membrane-like environments. PFTs are of particular interest in bio-nanotechnological applications, which include nanopore sensors and drug delivery aids. Crucial to these applications is the size of the pore, which is dictated by the oligomeric state of the protein complex. The oligomeric state is the number of subunits in a complex. So if something is a tetramer, that would mean there are four subunits in that complex. We are interested in how the oligomeric state of an alpha pore forming toxin might vary in different detergent environments, as this information could be useful for engineering a desired pore size in nanotechnological applications by changing the environment. The alpha pore forming toxin we studied was cytolysin A, or cli A which is found in pathogenic strains of E. coli. The crystal structure has been solved for the pore of Cli A, and it was dodecameric. However, other previous experiments using different detergents and or lipids have proposed that Cli A form different oligomeric states like hexamers and octamers, among others. This debate makes Cli A an interesting PFT to study. To begin our investigation, we purified Cli A and then incubated it in different detergents. These detergent samples were screened using two types of polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. High molecular weight bands and blue native page indicated potential oligomers. SDS page was used to identify aggregates. We used the results from the two gels and identified DDM, C12E8, and Triton X100 as possible detergent candidates for getting Cli A oligomers. These were further investigated using nat native mass spectrometry. With this technique, samples are transferred gently and directly from solution into the gas phase. Native mass spec can preserve non-covalent interactions, allowing us to study intact protein complexes. This technique has two big advantages over other structural techniques for this particular project. First, because samples are transferred directly from solution, we can easily change our solution conditions, such as which detergent we use. And second, native mass spec is especially advantageous in determining the oligomeric states because we can measure both the mass of the monomer and of the intact oligomeric complex. Thus, we can conclusively determine how many subunits are present in the complex or the oligomeric state. Our results indicated that the oligomeric state of Cli A is in fact dependent on specific detergents and that multiple different oligomeric states can be obtained. Cli A formed up to decamers in the detergent DDM and up to dodecamers in the detergent C12E8. Many oligomers were formed in Triton X100, OG caused Cli A to crash out of solution, and Phos14 heavily adapted to the monomers only. We are investigating what properties of these detergents influence the specific oligomeric state by using molecular dynamic simulations. We are, form, we are forming model structures of varying Cli A oligomeric states and are inserting them into different detergent micelles using MD simulations. These results help us predict the stability of different complexes. Our results show that the oligomeric state of Cli A pore complexes vary in different detergents. These results will be further investigated using MD simulations and will be repeated with another alpha PFT, Phragacea toxin C. These findings will not only advance the fields of mass spectrometry and structural biology, but they will also provide insight for the PFT applications in bio nanotechnology. So I would like to specifically thank my graduate mentor, Amber Rowland, for helping and teaching me this past year, my PI, Dr. Jim Prell, and the entire Prell Lab. Thank you.